So this is an example of TechPlot 360 2011 R1's new capabilities for Plot3D, in particular to help with folks who are looking at non-uniform grids. So we'll start by looking or opening up a Plot3D solution. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and remove these just for a moment. And we have a couple of options that we added. Number one, you can add multiple solutions and multiple grids, which means that you can have a grid for each time step, which is helpful if you're looking at movie bo moving body problems. Uh, if those grids are uniform, you can have a uniform grid structure, uh, or if in the case of overflow, oftentimes you have non-uniform grid structures. So we'll go ahead and add the, the mesh, which in this case we have a number of mesh files. We'll go ahead and add those to the list. In addition, we have solution files, so we'll go ahead and add the uh, solution files as well. You can see there's a one-to-one -one correlation between uh, the grids and the solutions. Again, these grid structures are not uniform, and we'll go ahead and, and load those in. So what TechBot's going to do now is it's going to read through the information and load in the first time step. Now this is an overflow solution, so it's actually 2D. So we'll move into 2D and adjust the axes to look down the appropriate axis. So could I move in here. So the other thing that we've added is the ability to use value blanking, which uh, will include, we'll trim along a constant or constraint boundary. Uh, we'll activate that and set it the I blank variable equal to zero. So if I turn on then my mesh, you can see that it's actually going to be blanked out. And if you zoom in a bit, you can see like here's an area where you have the blanking constraint. So we will uh, turn off the edge and we'll turn on the contour momentarily. It's probably the easiest way to look. And I'll open up the zone styles dialog just so you can get a sense. Now, typically when you have a uniform grid, what you'll see here is that each individual time step would be sharing a grid. And as you can see in this case, since the number of grid uh, zones, so to speak, is different, uh, each individual one is actually shown. So as I move to the second time step, you can see that we're going to advance uh, into the next set of grids. So if I hit play now, you can see this is actually just two ailerons. And we're moving them. So just getting a sense. Remember the first time the tech plot loads the information, it uses the load on demand technology. As a result, it's slightly slower than the second time where you can see it's quite fast once the data has been loaded. So that is the new capability we have for loading data from Plot3D with non-uniform grids.